Hi guys, my name is Faith and welcome to another video and today I'd like to share a natural recipe which is bound to immensely boost your immunity. This is the thing, me and my bro grew up with crazy allergies, dust, cold, pollens, I'm telling you these elements were not our friends. Personally, I used to walk around with four to five handkerchiefs which would be wet by evening because I'd always have a runny nose. Then after receiving advice from a nutritionist and a lady friend who had studied the art of raw juicing, we started our own raw juicing regime in October 2018. And ever since, I have not, I don't know about my siblings, but me, I know, I have not gotten any flu. Headaches are things of the past, and my skin, which used to be dull, it acquired a glow. So ladies, this is something you need to try. Anyway, on researching to find out why the juice had transformed our immunity so much, we learned that it cleanses the blood and other vital organs, which in essence results to a very strong immunity. Anyway, in this day and age of corona, the one thing we all need is a strong immunity. And as such, I'd like to share three raw juice recipes, which I make at home, and hopefully they will improve your immunity like they did for my siblings and I. Something to note. The juice is to be taken once or twice a week. Don't wait to fall sick to take it. Number two, this is so important, I don't even know how to emphasize it, but let me just say it. Number two, this juice is no way a replacement of medicine. Doctors do a great job to make us better, so we need them. All I'm saying is, this juice will strengthen your organs, help your body fight terminal conditions like cancer, diabetes, and also get rid of annoying illnesses like cold, coughs, sore throat, headaches, etc. It worked for us, it will work for you. But if you fall sick, please, please, please go to hospital. Don't start depending on these juices and then, then when they don't work, you start saying, uh uh, take them when you're healthy because they'll strengthen you to make sure that you don't get these opportunistic conditions. So for juice one, I need a bunch of spinach, and that's between three to five leaves, cucumber, zucchini, what we, the rest of us call courgette, well, it depends on where you come from, it's either a courgette or a zucchini, and then we have the eggplant, and we have uh, dania, uh, what uh, in English they call it cilantro, and we have the capsicum, which is commonly known as the hoho, and of course the lemon. To see how effective this juice is, just Google each vegetable and you will be amazed by the health benefits of each. So here we go. Of course, the first step is clean your veggies thoroughly. No, 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 scratch that. Clean your hands thoroughly. Don't sanitize them because you don't want chemicals in your food. But clean your hands well. This process needs very well washed hands. Clean your hands well and then clean your veggies thoroughly. Because remember, you will be consuming them raw. Then chop them into blendable sizes and that means big chunks. Big chunks work well and you will see why. Then mix them and put them in the blender and start blending. Set your blender at high but only blend for 10 seconds. This way you make sure that the fiber remains rough as in coarse. And this makes the fiber grippable because at some point you'll need to squeeze the juice out of the fiber with your own hands. If you blend for too long, the fiber will become fine. Thus, squeezing the juice will become difficult since you can't grip the fiber effectively. Once you've removed most of the fiber from the juice, it's time to now use a clean sieve. Notice how I'm insisting on clean. This juice can only operate if it is operated on with clean hands, clean blender, clean sieve, clean everything, clean water. Everything has to be clean. Okay, so... Once you remove most of the fiber from the juice, it's time to use the clean sieve to drain the remaining of the juice, just like this. Don't worry about my blender. I know my blender looks a bit old, but I love it. Even if you brought me a new blender, I would still stick with this one. I love it. I've had it for the longest time, and I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyway, so that's our first juice. The second juice is carrot juice. And what you do, this is simple. Just peel the carrots, chop them into blendable sizes. Since carrots are hard, avoid cutting them as squares. Don't do carrot squares. Cut the carrots as if you're peeling them again and again and again. And that way you produce thin wedges, which will not strain your blender. Notice I didn't mix the carrots in the veggie juice. As we continue to modify the juice that we were making, we realize that the carrot taste doesn't blend very well with the green veggie. So it's best taken separate. At the same time, we discovered this strange thing about the lemon. Lemon surprises me every time. 
it actually makes the veggie juice tastier. But for those with a sweet tooth, maybe you should add honey or sugar. But honey is better to ensure that your juice is completely natural. Of course, you notice that I didn't remove the green cover of the lemon. That's because the entire lemon has major benefits to the body. Again, I suggest you research more on the importance of each veggie we used above. That way you'll understand the kind of good you are doing to your body by taking this raw juice. The third juice is garlic and lemon. If you grow aloe vera, you can put a piece of it in the mixture as well. Though I don't advise regular consumption of aloe vera, maybe you should use it once in two weeks. Because aloe vera is very strong, especially the natural one, it's very strong. I think I saw somewhere, I'm not sure, but I think I saw somewhere where they said it can, it can mess up your liver if you take it too regularly. So make sure you just take it maybe once, once in two weeks, that would be, that would suffice. Because the whole idea is just increasing your immunity such that any disease which is coming your way, it, it just dies. Your immunity system just deals with it before it hits. Lemon and garlic mixture is a natural antibiotic. That's what we discovered. It, it operates like a natural antibiotic. And even when you research about it, you'll see those antibiotic properties of the garlic. Again, as I said, it does not replace pharmaceutical antibiotics. If you fall sick, if you get a sore throat, if you get a flu, you need to go to a pharmaceutical. You need to see your doctor. When ill, by all means, go to hospital, please. But what we just noticed is that this lemon garlic juice, it ensures that you rarely get fevers, flus, sore throat, headaches, all those things. Me, I am not lying. Since October 2018, I have not had a fever, I have not had a flu, I have not had a sore throat, I have not had a headache. These juices are more of preventative as opposed to curative. So you need medicine if you fall sick. But... Take these juices regularly so that you make sure that your body protects you from, from some of these opportunistic conditions. One question that might be lingering in your mind is, why not blend to smoothness then drink it with the fiber? At the beginning we used to do that, but we noticed that we were getting a bloating feeling which would stay for a long time. When we asked about it from the nutritionist who advised us, they told us it's because our bodies are not used to digesting raw veggies in large quantities. So they advised us that we need to sieve the juice. Sieving the juice is better since that kind of juice goes direct to the body stream and it's distributed to the organs without having to wait for digestion. Again, taking too much of raw veggie fiber can strain your digestive system and even result to a leaky gut. Okay guys, I don't know what a leaky gut is, but you know what? It sounds scary. It sounds like Something is leaking from somewhere and going to a place where it is not supposed to be. That is not good happening somewhere in the middle of your stomach. Okay, so to avoid all that, just take the juice, which goes direct in, into your bloodstream and starts working on the organs from there. As opposed to taking something which you'll have to wait for it to, you know, be digested, strain your digestive system. I don't know. I'm just saying. But again, I know there are people who use smoothies. If it works for you, then... I guess it's all good, but that's what we noticed on our end. When you take the juice with the fiber, a bloaty feeling, and it stays for a long time, and it's quite uncomfortable. So, but this juice thing, you just feel, in fact, you start feeling hungry very fast because it goes and, you know, burns fat and removes all the body, consumes all the body in your, st all, the, all the food in your stomach and everything. And that's another thing. It's best to take this juice 20 minutes to one hour before a meal. I noticed that. I don't know why, because I'm not a doctor, but I noticed that about it. It's best when you take it earlier, maybe 20 minutes to one hour before you have a meal. On that note, all I can say is a strong immunity is the best gift you can give to your body and this juice will boost your immunity tenacity. Hope this was helpful. Stay healthy.